Um, I do want to touch on a subject that is a little touchy, and um, you probably talked about it a few times, but I know that there's a story to it, and I, th I don't think everybody knows the full story. So you've told me previously, but I, I want to just put out a phrase, and then you can kind of go into the backstory. But um, this one is smash them like guitars. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I cringe. Cringe when I hear it, especially in an Australian accent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not holding that against you. Uh, I'm holding it against the entire nation of Australia. <laughs> but I know the full story. There, there's, a, there's a really good story to it. There's a, there's a different side of the story. Yeah. Let's say that. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it just... It was, it was a quote that was taken by the Australian media out of context um, from what I argue to be the most flattering article about Australian swimming ever written. Um, it was, most of the article was saying how the United, U, United States swimming, which I was at odds with, really. I, I, I mean, I, I struggled with the leadership of USA Swimming for a long time. And so this was an article that was written in CNN, Sports Illustrated, and... Um, and, and, and it was on and on about all the things that Australian, because the Institute of Sport, Don Talbot, who just passed away, was at the reins and the innovative things that he was doing, how they were professionalizing opportunities for the swimmers and, and how their federations were working to promote the swimmers. And, you know, it was just such a different, you know, that if you were a top level swimmer in Australia, you were treated as a celebrity, like you and, and, and that just wasn't the case here. I mean, there were, you know, swimmers that were just living on breakfast cereal and pizza crusts, um, you know, to get to Olympic trials and top swimmers on the national team doing that. And so that's where my head was at when writing this article. And there was one quote in it where I was like, you know, we, if it, in my biased opinion, and I think that we'll smash on my guitars. The United States has always risen to the occasion, and this will be no exception, but we, we've got our work cut out for us. Like, it's not going to be so easy this time. And, um, you know, if I can wish Australia well in the process and not have them step on our heads, um, then I do. Um, you know, so it was what I thought a very thoughtful, um, and, and, and perhaps that's what hurt the most, um, yeah, we flew to Australia after qualifying for the team and we touched down and like somebody shoves the newspaper. I hadn't even gotten off the airplane. Somebody shoves the newspaper into my chest hard and says, what have you done? Like, and the, the cover of the newspaper says, we're going to smash them like a guitar. And it's got my fi like face like, giant and like, Big mouth is like the quote underneath it. And again, talking earlier about NBC and their uh, difficult task of like creating the personas, like I was selected by Australian media as the guy that was going to be the ugly American, um, you know, just the basically Rodney Dangerfield of, of, of the sport. And um, what really hurt was that it was such a nice article about <laughs> Australian swimming. And I was for probably two weeks, the most hated man in Australia. And um, I thought it was so unfair. Um, it, it tarnished my reputation in the sport horribly. And uh, the, those damages were real. Um, and, and, and now, yeah, I mean, even to this day, like, I was joking about like when I hear, I'll, I'll be in a, a bar or a public place and I'll say, smash him like a guitar. <laughs> that, that's a terrible <laughs> some bad uh, like, but that's that's how I'm recognized and I still have to like still have to listen to it uh, 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 yeah yeah you got me yeah, yeah that's uh, oh there was an article that was actually complimentary ne no never mind <laughs> yeah, forget yeah. it